He is a Chicago area composer who brings together classical traditions with the modern ones. Although he's a music teacher, Doug Lofstrom says that hands-on experience made the big difference in his education, even more so than school. He's here to tell us about his work as a composer and to give us a preview of an upcoming concert. And Doug, welcome to Chicago tonight. Thank you. First about how, how about that? You teach music composition and theory at the college level, and yet you say in your own career it was the hands-on stuff that really well, propelled you. Yeah, I mean, I obviously went to college, but uh, I, after, I, after I left there, I, I really sort of kept studying on my own for many, many years. And then as a composer, you almost have to be a self-starter. You know, because I don't know, it's at least when I went to school, it wasn't really supportive of, you know, getting your own work out into the world. Well, you're not just a composer, you're also a performer. Tell, yeah, me, yeah. About, tell me about the music that you write. How do you describe it? Um, well, my music sort of draws on a lot of influences. I, I try to sort of cast it in a, a classical vein or tradition, but, you know, it, it has a lot of uh, jazz, popular uh, world music influences. Do you consciously do that, or is it just a product of your own experience? I think, oh, first, it was sort of a product of my experience. Now I think maybe there's a little bit of conscious uh, manipulation involved <laughs> sometimes anyway. Well, that goes with the territory of being a composer. You can do that. That's right. <laughs> uh, the New Quartet, it performs music you compose and, and other, other works, too. What does it mean to a composer to have uh, sort of a built-in group to do his or her work? Well, this was, a, I mean... I have to say this group's sort of been my, you know, my dream band, and and I and I uh, I did feel that we uh, we formed in 2001, and I, at the time I was feeling um, I was starting to get you know orchest orchestral performances and things in my music, but they seemed so few and far between. Even though you know it was fairly yeah, major orchestras have yeah, performed your work. Yeah, that was that's always a great thing, and it's it's sort of an ongoing thing, but. I felt like, well, you know, if I have to wait six months or two years bef between performances, I'll go crazy. <laughs> and so uh, I, I, I pulled together uh, a, a, f a few friends and, and people that I, I had a lot of faith in musically, and we just started working up repertoire and, and, uh, and started performing. And, and it's turned into a really wonderful thing. And, and, and it's been beyond my own music, which really I think forms only a small part of our repertoire. You've got an upcoming concert. What can people expect to hear? Um, well, this is at the Skokie Theater, which is a, a sort of a relatively new venue in, in Skokie. Um, we, at this concert, we have a, a, a guest a performer with us who's actually with us tonight, Darlene Drew, who's a flutist. And Darlene is also unique in that she plays a lot of different flute-like instruments. She's just coming off of uh, three years uh, touring with the, with the Lion King Orchestra. So, so she's supplementing the, the regular group and people will see some, yeah. uh, some uh, Pan pipes woodwind, woodwind elements that yeah, you yeah, normally yeah. don't get. Great stuff. Whistles. We'll be doing Irish music and the South American music. All right, Doug. Thanks very much. Look forward to hearing All you right. in just a bit. Doug Lofstrom and the New Quartet will perform at the Skokie Theater on Friday, April 11th with, as he mentioned, special guest Darlene Drew on flute. For more information about Doug Lofstrom and the new quartet, you can go to our website. Here now is Leandro Lopez Varadi on piano, Doug Lofstrom on bass, Darlene Drew on flute, Michael Levin on clarinet and soprano sax, and Sarah Allen on drums.
And that's our show for this Wednesday night. I hope you join us tomorrow night live at 7. Time Out Chicago Magazine will be here to help you with your weekend plans. And we'll tell you why Chicago and people around the world are going lights out this weekend. We leave you now with a piece by Doug Lofstrom. This one's called Waltz. Now for all of us here at Channel 11, I'm Phil Ponce. Thanks for watching and have a great night.